Hey everyone! Um, so I wanted to do my freebie week this week uh, because I really wanted to talk about the Trevor Project. Now I've been wanting to talk about this for a while, but um, finally today I was like, oh, I'm going to do it. I'm just going to go for it. Uh, I don't know how many of you know, uh, I've heard of the Trevor Project, but it is this great, it's, a, it's an amazing organization. Um, it is kind of suicide awareness for LGBT uh, youth. And they have a toll-free hotline, um, helpline for um, suicidal LGBT youth, uh, you know, to try and, it's really trying to prevent further suicides um, in, in the LGBT youth. And it is, I don't know how many of you are aware of the, the statistics for suicide in youth, in LGBT youth. Um, LGBT students or youth are four times more likely to commit suicide than their heterosexual peers. Um, nearly a third of, of lesbian, gay, bisexual youth report having attempted suicide. Um, half of transgender youth report sincerely considering suicide and a quarter of just this is just youth too. Um, transgender youth have had an attempt at suicide. LGBT youth are more likely to abuse alcohol and drugs by an, an overwhelming amount. Um, statistics show that between 20 and 40 percent of homeless youth are LGBT. Um, all these facts are really disturbing and you know, some will say that it's not a problem. Well, why do you, you know, why do you need to fight for these people? Why do you need to, you know, there's fine. They can do whatever they want, blah, blah, blah. Like, we're just preventing them, you know, certain basic rights, human rights, whatever. Because stuff like this, because we, unfortunately, we live in a world where it's still perfectly, apparently, it's perfectly acceptable to let these people feel like worthless individuals, like their life has no meaning just because of, you know, their orientation or because their their gender doesn't match their body. I'm so glad that the Trevor Project is here to, to help these individuals. Um, I grew up having lots of gay friends. I mean, before I knew what gay was, I had gay friends. Uh, that, you know, later they, they came out as gay long, many years later. Um, it was just always such a normal thing in my life. And so I never had a problem with it. And luckily I was raised to not have a problem with it, um, to be very accepting. To me, they, they weren't any different. But not everybody's brought up that way. Not everybody is so accepting. And you're probably wondering, well, where does this fit in with asexuality? Now, I don't know any of the facts about asexual suicide. I don't think anybody does. I don't even know if it is a problem. Like, I don't know. But I think, and we talked about this before, but I think it is our role to be allies. Um, I mean, we also understand that you don't choose the way you are. And luckily, some of us are so lucky that we can just kind of blend in with society pretty easily. Uh, not all of us, you know, are, I mean, some of, it's, it's easier, I think, probably for some asexuals to blend in with society than LGBT youth. Um, but I think it would be great if we started supporting this thing, the Trevor Project. I'm going to put a link down in the info section so you can go check out the website it's great it's amazing read up on the facts um you can actually you can volunteer you can get involved spread the word about it uh it's an amazing resource i think for for the youth um in a world where it's you know it's still not accepted when most people don't think that you know that it's okay. No, not maybe not most people, but a lot of people don't think it's okay. Um, it's important that we let these kids know that they're fine just the way they are and that their life has meaning and that, you know, we will, we will try to help and make things better in this world for them so they can be happy and deserve and have the happiness that they deserve. Um, so yeah, please check it out. 
Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next week.